Hey, it's Robbie Lockman Harness, and today we're going to be talking about harness delegates and harness agents. You're on ramp to scale. Here on my mirror board, I have a your local machine and I have the cloud. Now, how do you get commands going from your local machine to the cloud? Well, you can have a bunch of local CLIs on your machine, but where the complication actually comes in is actually, well, what if you had to make this remote or actually or if you had to share these commands with other people on your team? That's when scale comes into play. And Harness actually has two solutions for this, depending on what swim lane you're on. So if you're using a GetOps agent, for example, if you're using Argo CD, Harness has you covered. And also for pretty much anything else in the Harness platform, we have a Harness delegate. So actually, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I actually need is a Kubernetes cluster for this example. So I'm just going ahead and I have one ready right here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that on my machine here. And let's go ahead and install the Harness delegate and the Harness agent. Let's make sure I have connectivity to this. So kubectl get pods A. Eh? Cool, looks like I have connectivity to my particular machine here. So let's go ahead and actually install this. Now I actually wired my Helm repo to the, the Helm chart repo for the Harness Delegate. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that's updated and then simply copy the command that we have here in the Harness UI. Come back to my command prompt, clear this out, and this will be installed. We can actually watch this being installed by running kubectl get pods. You can watch for those commands. Looks like everything is actually up and running. We can come back to the harness UI and look, ah, great. Our harness delegate is connected. We click done. Um, if you want to go ahead and just install the GitOps agent at the same time, so they're two separate agents. Here, this will actually install a managed Argo CD instance for me. So I have to do install that. And actually, we'll talk about that a little bit later, why that's important. But I can go ahead and just copy that particular command, come back to my terminal and actually run that command. And this will install in a few moments also. You can actually watch, run the same command that we have to watch all the pods and we can actually watch this come across. Uh, we can actually um, wait for this to complete. We can actually come to the harness UI. This will actually be uh, processing for us in the background. Looks like all the installations are actually finished. So let's come back to our whiteboard and talk about why these particular concepts. So actually, we can start with our local machine. Um, what I just did there is not too dissimilar for what anybody else would do. I have, let's say, in my particular cloud, I have a particular remote Kubernetes cluster. So I have a, a K cluster here. And I need to run some commands from my machine. Uh, for example, we have maybe kubectl here. And also, I have a few things. I have Helm running here. And basically, my local machine, I'm connecting up to my remote Kubernetes cluster and running these commands. Now, this is going to actually get more complicated. Let me reset this particular diagram here. Now, let's say that taking Harness out of the picture, let's say that we had an application we had to run. So most likely, we'll have a remote Kubernetes cluster. You might have a registry up here. You actually might have source code here. And basically, each time you're running a command, you're running commands uh, from your local machine to these remote resources. And also, you need to make sure that each one of your particular CLIs are authenticated. Uh, this can actually get more complicated. If you remember my, my first example, I actually connected to my remote Kubernetes cluster using the, you know, the gcloud command. And having all those running on your machine is fine. Actually, it was quite snappy for me to run those particular commands because I'm already authenticated. But here's where it comes to challenge. What if we had to actually get this off of my machine and let's say that we had a team? Now, there's a couple ways to accomplish that. You now, what you could do, for example, is having a remote instance. For example, if you remember a Bastion host or a Jumpbox, you might set yourself up a EC2 instance with all the commands wired in, and people can SSH or directly interact with an API in those particular boxes. Or you can leverage a harness delegate or a harness agent. Now, our concept of having that remote access is not too dissimilar to what I just discussed. The core benefit of the harness delegate is actually running those commands for you on your behalf. Now with the Harness Delegate or the Harness Agent, you can actually do this. This can actually be running in your particular cloud provider. And so if you, for example, had needed to segregate via Teams, for example, if you had Team A and Team B, and let's just go ahead and duplicate this particular cloud here. Let's say you had two separate cloud providers here. You can actually have multiple Harness Delegates running in each one of your cloud providers. So if you need that particular segregation or a particular topology, you can actually support that. And so now, you could, you could be running commands uh, directly from Harness, and these particular delegates can be running these commands inside your cloud to remote resources that you need. Uh, there is definitely a benefit to this if you're interacting with the Harness SaaS here. So you're only interacting with the particular Harness SaaS, and then the Harness SaaS is actually interacting with these particular 
delegate your agents on your behalf. There's a lot of possibility or the possible here. For example, you can have delegates scope to specific applications or specific accounts that you have. You could also have the delegates actually being wired into multiple clouds also. So here I have one delegate per cloud provider here, but we can actually do the following. We can actually remove this and we can actually have, let's go ahead and remove some of these. And we can actually have this particular delegate uh, actually via authentication talk to this particular cloud. And so the art of the possible is a lot. You have a remote resource that you can place on your infrastructure that can run commands on your behalf. As you noticed here that I didn't have to install any other clients. For example, the harness delegate comes, comes mostly set up with what you need, which is actually very easy, especially if multiple people are accessing the particular delegate. You model one time in harness and that's actually able to extrapolate and scale out to your basically your pipeline needs that you do have. A challenging to topology actually to manage is actually Argo CD. Now I actually have an Argo CD instance here. And if you've used Argo CD, you must be familiar with the HTTPS Kubernetes at default at SVC address. Basically means that, hey, Argo, you can deploy in my cluster. Um, as you see, there's no way for me to add another cluster here. I have to go through the uh, command line to do that. But let's say that I actually wanted to do this. I have one Argo instance and I actually have, let's say I have two particular Kubernetes clusters here. So we have, let's say, cluster one, and let's say we have Kubernetes cluster two. Um, there's some wirings that have to be be made here. Now, most people would actually actually install another Argo instance here. Um, you can have an application set also with Argo to manage this. Now, with the Harness GetOps agent, uh, similar benefit that you're having with a Harness delegate that with a particular harness agent, you actually don't need to install Argo CD to get the benefits. Harness will actually take care of that for you, or you can bring your own particular Argo CD instance. And so coming back to harness, we can actually add a particular cluster here very easily and deploy to a multi-cluster scenario. Now that's just only one use case for the harness GetOps agent. But with that, again, similarly, the art of the possible, so the, the harness delegate is there. It's your on-ramp to scale, and with that, hopefully, leveraging a harness delegate or harness GetOps agent is your on-ramp to scale. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.